There ain't nothing like a good family function, right? Where the family all comes together, whether it's for a wedding, a cookout, a graduation party, or if family just felt like, hey, you know what? Come through, we all getting together, we're gonna throw something on the grill and just chill. It's, it's a great thing. Uh, but I know every family has it to where there's that one family member for every single family function where they, they'll be like, hey, I'm gonna be there, hey, I'm going to see you soon. Hey, you know I'm coming through. Hey, you know I'm good for it. But then when it comes to the actual function and them showing up, they're not there. They're not there. And this can lead to a lot of disappointment. This can lead to a lot of frustration. It can lead to a lot of anger from the other family members because they're like, why did this family member not show up? What's going on with them? All the meanwhile, that family member, they may have a certain health issue that they got going on. They may be struggling financially. They may have something that they're dealing with that nobody knows about, but they haven't let it be known. So that's led the family members to speculate and come to their own conclusions as to why that family member just doesn't show up to the events. That family is Ravens fans and that family member is Ronnie Stanley. There's been so many Ravens fans that have been frustrated, upset, annoyed, uh, all different types of emotions when it's come to Ronnie Stanley not showing up to play. Uh, some fans have come to the conclusion, oh man, Ronnie Stanley's soft. Some fans have come to the conclusion, oh, Ronnie Stanley, he don't want to be with the Ravens anymore. Some fans have come to the conclusion, oh man, he's just trying to collect the check and then just chill. But Ronnie Stanley, for the very first time in I honestly don't even remember how long it's been. Ronnie Stanley, he spoke to the media. Wow. And when I saw that, I was like, okay, Ronnie Stanley, let's go. And probably my favorite quote, because I didn't get to watch it. It wasn't a live type of thing. It wasn't one of the ones they put on YouTube or, or, or on the Ravens, uh, the app. Um, but one of my favorite quotes that came out of there with Ronnie Stanley, he, him saying, I'm very close. You might see me this week. Now, I know a lot of Ravens fans are going to be like the family that we talked about early on in this video. And they're going to be like, ah, he ain't going to show up. Oh, he ain't coming through. Ah, yeah, we done heard this all before. Um, but Ronnie Stanley, I, I appreciated that he uh, sort of let this cat out of the bag um, when it's come to the speculation of, of just what's going on with Ronnie Stanley. Um, one of the quotes he did say, I feel way different. I feel way better than what I was when I played that first game last year. I'm in a way better place. I'm very optimistic, very confident about me getting back to where I want to be. But this was the banger right here. There's something else I had to get done after that first game from last year, separate from my original surgery. That was a lower body major surgery. That's why the whole organization was taking this approach. So Ronnie Stanley is letting it be known like, hey, besides the whole ankle surgery, he said he had to go get a whole nother surgery done. And I just said, oh, OK, well, now we know what was really going on. So uh, apparently what because what I'm getting from this and y'all, please let me know if I'm reading this the wrong way. But it, it sounds like Ronnie Stanley had two surgeries last year again let me know if i'm reading it the wrong way though because i could be but it sounded like he had two surgeries last year um but ronnie stanley uh apparently again is close and it, it was nice to actually hear it directly from him because yeah harbaugh is gonna get up there and he's gonna say the stuff that harbaugh says and that's cool he's a head coach he's been doing this for what 14 years now but it's nice, it's, it's that much nicer when, okay, it's cool when we hear from Harbaugh and different players, but it's even better when we hear directly from those players too. So with Ronnie Stanley speaking to the media, saying he feels good at this and that, and, and this is after, again, Harbaugh's been throwing it all on him. Hey, he'll be ready when, uh, when he's ready, he'll be out there. Hey, he's looking like he's in the best shape of his life, but it's up to him. It's on Ronnie Stanley. Harbaugh's been putting it on him this whole time. So now for Ronnie Stanley to speak up, it's like, okay, all right, let's go. Let's get it. Um, he even mentioned that he feels like he could possibly even look better than he looked in 2019. So that would be nice. <laughs> that would be great. Again, my, um, I, I got to temper expectations when it comes to Ronnie Stanley, though. The uh, reason I say that and have said that is because 
he hasn't played football, consistent football, uh, in like two years since the 2020 season. So I guess a year and a half, whatever. But he hasn't played consistent football in a long time. So um, with that being said, it's like, do you expect him to, as soon as he gets on the field, start blocking everybody and nobody's getting past him and what? I don't. I would love it. I, hey, I, would, ooh, I would love it. But I don't expect it. And I think it's going to be one of those things that you, you just got to get back into the groove. You got to get back into it. And hey, for him, for, for, depending on the person, it may take a little bit longer. It may take a little bit shorter. It's like if you're playing basketball. You ain't played basketball in like two years. Now, when you played basketball two years ago, you were nice. But, ooh, you ain't played in like two years. You've been dealing with your ankle getting a little swollen, your knees hurting, your back hurting. You're getting a little older. It happens. Maybe you put on a little pandemic weight. Hey, ha, it happens. But anyway... Uh, when you finally get back out there on the court, you may be a little intimidated. You may be a little scared. You may be a little rusty. So you get that first shot off, and it's like, oof, air ball. <whistles> you get that second shot off, it's oof, brick. <whistles> you get that next shot off, oh, <laughs> ah, let's go. I think I'm getting it, baby. Next three shots are all bricks. So then you start to get into more of a rhythm after that. Then you make one, you miss one. You make one, you make another one. You make another one, you miss one. You make another one, you make another one. But it took you a little time to get reacclimated to the court because it's been a little minute. And I think it could be the same way uh, with Ronnie Stanley when he does come back. It's going to take some time. Well, whenever his first game ends up being, whether it's this week against the Buffalo Bills, and shout out to the people. My guy JT, he texted me. My guy uh, Garoon, he sent me a DM. He said, Engraven, the game this week. This is the national CBS game. The national CBS game. Dolphins are playing tonight. Hey, go Dolphins tonight. Go beat them Bengals. But on Sunday at 1 p.m., you ain't got to pull up no live stream. You can watch the game on TV. And when I saw that, I said, yes. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Oh, man. Such a relief. But if this is going to be the game, that Ronnie Stanley ends up playing in, you got to temper expectations. I just want everybody to, or if it ends up being next week, if Ronnie Stanley be like, you know what, no, 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 no. Bills, Bills are cool. That's going to be a tough game. But I want to come back for the bright lights. I want to come back for Sunday night football against those Bengals. I wonder if the Ravens going to wear all black next week. But we'll, we'll worry about that when we worry about it. But I would expect him very, very soon now. Very, very soon. Because this is the first time that he's practiced in full two days in a row. And if he, if he mess around, if he mess around on Friday, tomorrow, and ends up practicing a, a full practice again, ooh, okay, okay, Ronnie. All right, now, hey, we're going to see. So that, that was just nice to um that, that Ronnie got to speak to the media. Uh, that was a beautiful thing. Um, now, looking at uh, some of the, the injury report, uh, just to, to go through that. Um, Patrick McCary didn't practice. Uh, I, I didn't expect him to practice. I don't expect him to be back for another couple weeks. Um, Justin Houston, I didn't expect him to be playing this week. Uh, again, with groin injuries. They can be very tricky, but I, now I've told y'all this already. I ain't expecting to play this week. Um, hey, that'd be great if Justin Houston all of a sudden tomorrow, hey, he like, hey, he spray a little bit of deer antler spray on his groin, and they're like, hey, I'm good to go, baby. Let's get it. But I, I just, I'm not expecting it, but we'll see. Um, now, J.K. Dobbins, he said something was going on with his chest yesterday. Um, maybe somebody dropped a little shoulder during practice or something. JK said, whoa. He said, whoa there, buddy. Hold on. We teammates. It might have caught him off guard, but they said uh, he practiced in full today. So that was nice. Marcus Peters, uh, he practiced in full. I think he had a vet day yesterday. Uh, James Prochet. James Prochet. He's back. So can he follow Rashad Bateman and Devin Duvernay and make some impact at wide receiver too? Hey, I would love it. We would love it. We would love it. Because his, his 2022, the start of it, it's been a little bit shaky. 
Because, of course, he only played a couple snaps week one. And then after that, he missed the last two games with injury. Uh, but for him practicing in full, that is a beautiful thing. Now, you know, he probably felt that pressure, too. He saw Riley Webb getting called up two weeks in a row. He said, wait a minute, baby. I got to be the same receiver that, that follows my number. His number is number three. Be the number three receiver. Anyway. Um, and so that, that was nice, man. It, it's, it's, that injury report is significant. But it seems to be getting a little bit smaller. Now, um, something that we talked about uh, earlier this morning uh, of our expectations. We talked about how we expected the Ravens to put Michael Pierce on injured reserve today. The Ravens put Michael Pierce on injured reserve today. Um, so his season, unless there's some crazy surgery or some miracle with the healing, Maybe he told the doctors, hey, get Ray Lewis on line one because my biceps, I'm trying to get these things healed right away. So hit up my boy Ray Lewis. I remember how he did uh, in 2012 on that Super Bowl run to come back a little early. Hey, I'm, I'm trying to be back too. But other than that, if that don't go down, then uh, Michael Pierce's season uh, is over. Um, somebody in the comment section, they, they brought out a really good point. Um, I forgot who it was, so my apologies. But he, he brought out such a great point that talked about how with players, um, he said, why do fans question uh, if players are, are going to go for surgery to heal something the right way or go through rehab to try to play through it and, and experience all t kinds of pain? Um, and he said "If with, with the player, with Michael Pierce, there's no surprise that he opted for rehab because Michael Pierce, he got his money already. And I was like, well, yeah, that's a, that's a really good point. Um, but I think it, it obviously all depends on the player, depends on the situation. And I think it really depends on the contract, too. Uh, if it's a veteran player, like Michael Pierce, for instance, signed to a, a three-year deal. Um, so he got his money, got some guarantees in there and whatnot. Um, but he has the option to, all right, you play through the pain or you just get it completely corrected. Uh, but you're going to miss the rest of the year. If I'm looking at, hey, you already got paid, so, okay, I, I, I want to play, but I want to get this thing right, too. I'm paid already, so, all right, well, I guess we'll just sit the rest of this year out. And not like you want to sit the rest of the year out, but I can understand the decision. But if it's another player, uh, say, for instance, this player's, like, in a contract year, something like that, they got one year left on their deal, and they, whether they trying to make the roster, they playing for that second contract, um, they, they just really going for it. And they have an injury. Hey, you want to rehab or you want to just get the thing completely? You obviously want to get it completely fixed. But at the same time, you got that pressure. You got that added pressure from your contract or your contract situation. And they can be like, no, I, I, I got I to play through this thing. I, I, I got to play through it. Let, let's, let's try to, let me try to rehab. Try to do that because I, I just I don't want to have to miss the rest of this year. Because next year's money is counting on this here right now. But for Michael Pierce, next year's money is not really counting on this right here, right now. Um, so he's straight. But again, I, I don't know what his thought process is. I don't know. Um, but that that the commenter, they brought out a, a really good point, and it just really made me think. Um, but anyway, Michael Pierce done for the year. Uh, Ronnie Stanley, he could be starting his year uh, very, very soon. Whether it's this week or next week, um, we'll see what happens. But anyway, it, it's nice to, it was nice, very nice to hear directly from him. And hopefully he'll be back uh, and he'll be better than ever uh, soon enough. Again, I don't think it's going to happen right away, but soon enough. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Ronnie Stanley, won't be too much longer. We out.